Hallelujah, glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. Each time the Lord lays a word in my heart, it's always a privilege for me to give it out to his people because I know it is not by power, neither is it by might, but it is by the spirit of the living God. And it is by his grace that I am the one standing here and passing out this word. So I do not take it for granted. It's a privilege for me. Hallelujah. If this is the first time you're seeing me, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for deciding to click on this video. I assure you, this is no coincidence. If God led you here, it should be for a good reason. And my prayer is that you stick around long enough to know why God sent you to this channel and so please kindly subscribe if you're yet to do that already and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever there is a new release of a prophetic message you don't want to miss out or whenever we are live praying and believing God for his promises over our lives you will not miss out hallelujah and so the Lord gave me this prophetic word to someone I don't know who this is for but i pray that as this prophetic word reaches you that it resonates with you and give you a conviction to personalize this word and to apply it to your own life in the mighty name of jesus you will not turn a deaf ear the bible says when you hear the word of the lord do not harden your heart this is god speaking to you directly hallelujah god says that the same thing happens to them they felt the same way the same thing happened to them. They felt the same way. And so I got to a point of deep reflection and deep thought. And I was asking God, why, why is it so difficult, you know, to just go ahead and do that which God has asked you to do? Why is it so difficult? Because there are times that you encounter battles, you encounter distraction so many things happen at some point you're depressed you're discouraged you feel like giving up and you're asking if god is even real you're asking yourself what is going on why is it so difficult why i why do people go through demonic obsession possession why does the devil have so much power to even fight, fight a child of god why is it like that why can't you just live your life, serve God, fulfill his purpose for your life and just go your way? Why would his promises over your life not just manifest just the way he said it without delay, without battles? And God surely answered, yes, he did. God answered. He told me, there is no one that has done something extraordinary on the earth that had a normal life. There is no one that did extraordinary things that had it on the platter. There are always going to be controversies. There are always going to be people fighting you physically, spiritually. There are going to be people who would oppose you. Of course, this is supposed to be your kingdom marriage. Powers are going to rise up and fight and try to make sure that you do not get married to this person. God wants you in this particular place, but there are powers that are going to fight to make sure you do not get there. Life is a battle. God told me, life is a battle. There is no one that had it on a platter. After Elijah had his greatest victory, killing all the prophets of Baal, all Jezebel's prophet, the next thing is that he heard a threat coming from Jezebel. Jezebel threatened to take his life away. But you would, you would expect that a man as anointed as Elijah is going to stand back and fight. But because he is human like you and I, you saw him asking God to take his life. He felt frustrated. The frustration just dawned on him and, and, and he wanted to die. But guess what? He did not die. He kept on going. It might be so frustrating. God told me, everybody you celebrate in the Bible, is it Moses? Is it Abraham? Is it Isaac? Everyone you celebrate in the Bible, is it Esther? Is it Deborah? Is it Elizabeth? Is it Mary? 
God told me that the same things that are happening to you happens to them. Maybe theirs was even worse. Maybe theirs was even worse. But they kept on fighting. That is why the Bible in the book of Hebrew refers to them as heroes of faith. Life is not a fanfare. Life is a warfare. You have to war for the promises of God over your life to manifest. You have to war to keep even the miracles that God gives to you. You have to war to have giant to take giant strides. Nothing will just happen if you sit there and you are blaming God or you are crying and wailing and you have a pity party, you develop a pity party. It doesn't change anything. If you make a difference, if you're going to achieve your dreams, if you're going to fulfill your purpose on the earth, if you're going to make Jesus proud, then you've got to buckle up and face this life. You've got to buckle up and face life, understanding that life is 80% spiritual and 20% physical. What do I mean by that? Understanding that the spiritual governs the physical. Just this morning, I was praying and believing God for the life session. And God told me that if you want to conquer physically, you must conquer spiritually. That is when the transact that is where the transactions are done. Transactions are done in the realms of the spirit. And then you 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 leave its reality in the physical. So the life is where the transaction is. That is why life is 80% spiritual. Anything you see manifesting here physically has already been vetoed spiritually. It is already a done deal in the realms of the spirit. And the Holy Spirit was telling me. The Bible says Elijah was a man of like passion. And yet he prayed that there should be no rain. And there was no rain. Why would the Bible emphasize that Elijah was a man of like passion? To let you know that he went through the same things you are going through. Elijah, the Bible might not have mentioned it. But the Bible, but Elijah went through the same thing. Maybe he suffered rejection. Maybe he suffered delay. That is the only time when Elijah surfaced in the Bible. When he was appearing before Ahab. But before then, nobody knows about him. Ah, Alana Mashataina. Nobody knows about him before then. Nobody knows what he went through in the sacred. No one knows how he fought. No one knows the battle he had. If he was delayed in destiny, if he had rejection, no one knows. But he was tenacious. He kept on. He held on. Up to a point where his voice had to be heard. Up to a point where he had to be showcased to the world. God is telling me, there is nothing you are going through that is not common to man. There is nothing you are going through that is um, 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 that nobody has seen before. It is the life we live. But the assurance we have is that we are more than conqueror. And that God is going to help us fight and conquer. Hallelujah. God will help us fight and conquer. You just have to roll up your sleeves and get to work. The Bible says the weapon of our warfare. They are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. God is going to see you through. God will help you achieve all of your dreams. God is going to make sure that your purpose on earth is fulfilled. But you've got to get ready to fight. Fight for your marriage. Fight for your career. Fight for the things you want. Fight for the things you believe God for. Nobody will give it to you on a platter. You've got to fight for it. And God will back you up. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? I pray for you from my heart in the name of Jesus. That God will help you get everything that he had destined for you. That God will strengthen you when you are weak. That God will fortify you when you need to be fortified. And that God will fight your battles 
when it's time for him to take over in the mighty name of Jesus and that you will live to see the fulfillment of a great destiny in Jesus mighty name may the Lord bless you and keep you cause his face to shine upon you may he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus mighty name amen